I am Faith Bullen. I am a junior vice president for the Art and Design Club. I was really nervous coming in because I have a learning disability and I'm dyslexic. But my first semester, I was really prepared and I took a lot of notes. It was more just homesickness than anything else. I got used to it better. I learned how to manage time and everything was fine. Then stuff just kind of went downhill after that. So I started dating a boy named John before I came to college. Things just got really serious really fast after that. And then I left two months later to go to college and we fought because it was really weird and he was back home and there was a lot of fears along with that. But in the beginning of October, we kind of worked things out a little bit. At the end or middle of November, we actually decided since we were so serious to look at engagement rings. We were just super happy after that. We had figured all the kinks out and everything was going really well. And a day before Christmas Eve, we got papers in the mail that were already a month late saying that John had to file for a paternity test on a child and a woman that he didn't really know. And I guess somewhere he got her pregnant. And when we got those mails a few days before Christmas, it was really, really hard. And during my Christmas break of my freshman year of college, me and my new fiance were trying to figure out if he was the father of a child he didn't know. It was the beginning of February when we found out that he was the father. And he actually set it up with his lawyer that I would be the one to find out first. So I had to tell my fiance that he was a father. My professors were really nice and they let me leave class early that day. John came up to the campus and and I was able to tell him in person, which was really good for him and really hard on us. We fought for the next few months about child support and custody opportunities. While all of this was happening, I was trying to keep my grades up as best as I could. I was taking 16 hour credits. My academic life was crazy. There were some weeks where I was so on top of it and there were some weeks where I could not crawl out of bed because I stayed up all night. It's really hard to focus on an algebraic equation when you're trying to figure out if the person you're trying to spend the rest of your life with has a kid with another woman. You know, I just kind of hit that breaking point where it's like, why am I even in this? You know, why am I in this relationship? Is it because I feel obligated? And I broke up with him. So when college got over, I'm still living with him. So I went home and it took us two or three months to be with each other every single day in order to figure it out. So at the end of July, we saved up enough money to actually buy our own house. And recently I proposed to him and I pulled out a ring and I said, can I marry you? And he cried and he just hugged me. And so sometimes all the hard stuff is worth it for one reason.